All right, guys, welcome back to Not Real Fishing. And today we are going to be fishing our semi regular spot. I haven't been here in actually quite a while. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put on a one of those like bucktail jig heads and we're going to see if we can maybe get some catfish while we're here. I'm not exactly sure where this is going to be or in what video. So for now, I'm just going to keep it at that. Um, I do also have the Tinkara rod just in case we um, don't catch anything with a buck bucktail or if we get snagged within the first, I don't know, 10 minutes of fishing. But uh, I am a little nervous to be out here because last time I was here, I was on the other side and I could hear something moving in the woods. And uh, I never did figure out what it was. I do see fish jumping out the water already, so that's always a good sign. Look like a little flyer. Um, so they're always an option. Um, not exactly what I'm going to target right off the bat. Now, unfortunately, I've only got one of these bucktails right now. This is the only one I have, which has got a white underbelly with some uh, olive, kind of like in the tail, and then some... Uh, like just regular old hackle, uh, I mean a marabou, like olive and stuff. Um, yeah, we're gonna get started with this. Don't know how much line is on this thing because it got so stretched out last time. So uh, I'm a little worried that, that, oops, if we hook into something really big, it might break us off. But we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and get this started. Let that sit there for now, guys. And I'm gonna go get our other rod out and break it up. We're gonna start with the and car rod for a little bit because I do want to catch fish today. They look like they're feeding on small stuff on the surface so gotta kind of do what they're doing. Right now I've got on a little orange Top water, um, like ant pattern. We're going to start with that for now. Well, we got to start first, little booger. Still nice and healthy, that's for sure. Oh, where's my pliers? Here they are. We do need to put a longer leader on this rod. I can barely get out there. Cute little flyer. Now, unfortunately, guys, I cannot really release them gently. Because in order for me to get down to where I'm dropping them off at, it's like a three foot drop. And then it goes straight into very deep water. So I can't really, you know, gently release them. But make sure they at least go in head first. Now, if y'all watched any of my old winter videos, you know this spot fairly well. I fished here probably all winter long because it was the only spot I could really fish. Well, the only spot I could fish where there was fish biting at least. It's a good fighter here, guys. Feels like a nice size flyer. Oh no, it's a little catfish. 
Oh. I didn't bring my glove. You know what that means. He's going to get the boot. Well, guys, where's my pliers? I have a lot of disdain for these fish. Because I've been finned once before. But yeah, nice little catfish, guys. We're going to let him go. Sorry, I don't really like those fish to be in my hands. I've been finned before, and ever since then I've been terrified of them. Even though it may be unrational, it's still the case. Cute little booger right here. Cute little guy. I think I might get the uh, cane pole out over here and give it a try. Alright guys, we're switching over to another fly that I tied. It's like chartreuse and red with a little bit of olive mixed in. Um, so I got an olive head on the front of it. I have my leader a little bit longer than what I probably should on this rod. As I'm already tangled up on stuff, like my shoe. Um, but I figure it should be fine because we are standing up. So we'll get this. See if we can get this going. It's nice and wet first. Something guys. Feels pretty good. Feels like a little flyer. No? Another catfish. Aggressive little guys too. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, catfish. Oh hush. Alright guys, I have him very gently gripped. He's barely holding on to the hooks. I wasn't crimping his lip hard. I was pretty much hooked him on the front of the thing, which is balancing him there. As long as he didn't flip real hard, he was good. I don't like handling catfish without a glove. I have gotten finned. Oh, you'll probably hear me say it a hundred more times. I got finned so bad when I was a kid. And if you've ever been finned by a catfish, you know that a lot of them have a anticoagulant kind of stuff on their slime, and it, it can really mess you up. And that's what happened to me as a kid, and ever since then, I have not been a fan of holding catfish. If I have a glove or a sock or just something to put on my hand, it doesn't bother me. But just mentally, I have issues... Grabbing a hold of a catfish. Okay, so I did already crypt the bard on this one, I think. 
Got something. Oh no. It's another catfish. I'm gonna hammer down on these guys today. You're not even hooked anymore. Oh, yeah, you are. Well, not quite as gentle as I'd have liked, guys, but he is free. Fly's a little tore up here, but hey, it's still catching fish, so I'm not complaining. Let's uh, get it untangled and get back at it. Got something, guys. Probably a little flyer. Fighting pretty good, actually. Oh, no, I think it's another catfish. Yeah, nice size little catfish, too. Well, guys, I think I might end it on that note. Maybe we'll try to catch one more. But uh, a lot of catfish in this spot today. Wasn't really expecting that. I was expecting this to be a bunch of flyers. But, uh, 